Hi, uh, today I thought I'd show you a little bit of my mosaic making process. So at the moment I'm working on a commission for the seawall in Burnham-on-Sea and this will consist of three long mosaic panels. And this is um, a little bit of that work in progress here. Um, so here you can see um, that I'm using a template which I've printed out um, actual size and you can see it's very long it's two scales so um, it, everything will be the exact size that it needs to be and it just takes a lot of the guesswork out uh, for me I can see exactly the size and the proportions of what this needs to be this is an, a beautiful Atlantic krill by the way with those lovely blue and pink colors um, and yeah as you can see it, it shows me the colors everything needs to be as well and uh, now on top of the paper template, um, there's a sheet of plastic to stop the glue from sticking to the, oh, you can see it here, uh, sticking to the template. And then on top of that, we've got a layer of fiberglass mesh. Um, and that basically allows me to create sections of the mosaic, um, which I can then take to site and attach to the wall rather than having to do loads of it on site. It's all prepared here in the studio. Um, I really like working this way as well because it shows me exactly what it will look like. Um, there are other methods of mosaic, uh, for example, the reverse method where um, you stick the tiles to a template, but that means that what you get is a reverse like mirror image. Um, of whatever you're creating, but I prefer it this way where I can see exactly what I've got um, and I use a PVA glue to stick down the tiles so it means that as I go I can I can change it if I'm not happy with something I can pick off the bits and redo them uh, so uh, what am I making it out of? Um, I'm using mainly glass tiles um, and I've got some really beautiful ones here. These are made out of recycled glass and hopefully you can see there's a little bit of like a golden shimmer or glitter through it. Um, and I picked a lot of these for the background because I'm representing the mud flat environment there. And that really reminds me of the kind of like sand when you see um, light hitting off it. That's the effect it creates, I feel. so. Um, I'm loving these, I'm using quite a lot of them for this commission. Um, now I'm just going to show you a little bit of how I do this very briefly. So glasses of course to stop bits of glass flying in my eyes. Um, and then let's say if I'm making this little bit here. So I'll try and find a colour that suits, maybe this one. Um, and then it'll be about trimming this down with my little tile nippers. Um, so here we go. Probably going to do this wrong because we're filming. I'll trim it a little bit again. Uh, it's almost there. Now, if I have an edge that I, is a bit too jaggedy, I can also uh, use this grinding stone to basically smooth it out a little bit. So that's another tool of the trade. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm not quite, but for the sake of this video, let's say I'm happy. I uh, dip it into my glue, two little blobs. There we go. And then just stick it down. And that'll be that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's the process. Um, I guess I'll just show you some of the panels um, that I've already, well, sections of panels that I've already completed. So here you get some of the um, upper, uh, halves of the panels where there will be loads of birds. So you've got your widgeon there. Um, that one is a dunlin, I think. Um, that's shell duck. Uh, Abyssal and so on and so forth. There are many, as you can see. Um, so that's the upper parts that show you more recognisable birds. Um, but the lower part will show everything from uh, the crustacea, like the krill that I'm working on, to like single-celled organism. This is actually a sea gooseberry, I believe it's called. 
and um, other more recognisable things such as crabs. So all the different things that go into um, creating this mud flat ecosystem. So here's a couple more. That one's just like a bit of plankton, but they're all quite wondrous. And I'm hoping that um, people will see some species that they recognise, but they'll also see loads that they do not recognise and that will hopefully spark some interest um, and a bit of wonder. Uh, and I hope that when I've finished people like the mosaics and enjoy looking at them and enjoy having them there. Thanks for your time.